everyone. This is Mark with Mr. Hurricane Tracker.webs.com bringing you a tropical update for today, September 22nd, 2011. We're all eyes on Hurricane Hillary and Tropical Storm Ophelia. Got a lot to talk about, so let's go ahead and get started with Hurricane Hillary. Hurricane Hillary is going to be posing a threat to the coast of Mexico, and that threat is going to be showers and thunderstorms with locally heavy rainfall of up to 10 inches or more, causing surf problems and of course I'll continue to keep you posted on that. Right now we're showing a west-northwest movement of this Hurricane Hillary as it continues to move at about nine miles per hour but again of course we'll continue to keep you posted if any updates come from the National Hurricane Center. All right now I'm going to bring in the MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com website bringing you the latest advisory. Now the latest advisory from the National Hurricane Center this is only as of 8 a.m. Pacific Daylight Time number six showing maximum winds at 65 knots or 75 miles per hour minimum central pressure 989 millibars category 1 hurricane located at 15.1 degrees north and 98.9 degrees west movement is currently west northwest at 9 knots or 10 miles per hour and as it continues to move away there are some tropical storm warnings and updates that you need to keep yourself posted on at mr hurricane tracker webs.com if you go down to the bottom you'll see the tropical storm warnings and watches now the rainfall is the main concern. Three to five inches across the Mexican states of southern uh, Oaxa and southern Guerrero locally up to 10 inches there in southern Guerrero and uh, Oaxa. So we're going to continue to keep posting. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. Storm surge swells from Hillary could cause life-threatening surf and rip tides along the Mexican coast. And that's all along the Mexican coast guys so stay tuned because this hurricane could become a major hurricane in the next day or two so we're going to continue to keep you posted on that next thing we're taking a look at tropical storm Ophelia and of course it's kind of far out there but it's still moving and we'll have to keep an eye on these islands out here so we can keep you posted if any updates do come from the National Hurricane Center as far as tropical storm warnings updates or anything like that I'll post them right here at mrhurricanetracker.webs.com now I'm going to bring in the MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com site once again so we can take a look at the actual warnings and watches here. And here we go. Now just to keep in mind folks, right now it looks like there is no watches or warnings, but if there is any I will post them right here on MrHurricaneTracker.webs.com. Taking a look at the update and it looks like it's going to curve like Katia, maybe a little more as Katia did and hopefully move away from the United States and the state pretty much away from the eastern seaboard. So again, keeping an eye on Tropical Storm Ophelia. The latest update from the National Hurricane Center is as 11 a.m. Atlantic Standard Time, advisory number seven. The winds are at 65, are 55 knots, gusting to 65, and the minimum central pressure is 994 millibars, located at 13.6 degrees north, 47.6 degrees west. Movement is still west at 11 knots, up and or 13 miles per hour now the storm will continue to move west but gradually take a turn west northwest it looks like and we'll keep a close eye on that as it continues to move on off west now taking a look at the latest radar off the coast of Africa we are showing signs of another possibility of a tropical wave right here as it moves on off and you can see tropical storm Ophelia moving away now if you click on the latter two longitude guys you'll see you can track it with us right here at mrhurricanetracker.webs.com going down below that you'll see tropical storm Ophelia coming off the coast of Africa and of course it looks like it's losing strength so we'll keep a close eye on that now latitude and longitude is now on we are tracking it live with mrhurricanetracker.webs.com remember these maps and images are live from the Mr. Hurricane Tracker and also from the National Hurricane Center. So stay tuned for the latest updates on these storms and I'll continue to keep you posted. Thanks again for watching guys. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. Have a wonderful day.